Hey guys, so first off, please excuse any noise in the background. I am outside of my patio and there is some construction, some honking, uh, New York City, so you know, it is what it is. Um, the purpose of this video is to really discuss some really important things such as breath work and everything that this year is pertaining to. There's a lot of, um, I guess, kind of blind eyes kind of uh, going around and, and you know, we can overlook things as human beings um, just because people are doing certain things. It's easier to just jump on that train and, and you know, be a follower and not really think for yourself. So um, a lot of us, we're wearing masks right now and um, in a lot of states it's the law. So it really is enforced. You don't really have um, a lot of power right now at, although at least we feel that way we don't have a lot of power um, and in regards to that I'm not this video is not me telling you what to do it's just my observing uh, the situation and also my own values and my own self um, so especially now that we're wearing these masks we have to really pay attention to our breathing because wearing a mask really, it's not the way that we're designed to breathe. Um, and it really, it stops a lot of oxygen flow. So you're not getting as much oxygen as you would if you didn't have a mask on. So if you're wearing a mask eight hours a day, five days a week, um, and maybe you have headaches, maybe you feel lightheaded, maybe you can't breathe that well, and you think, well, it must be Corona. Think about, maybe it is the mask that's doing it so something that you could do to really combat mask wearing if you must wear one which most of us have to um, you can limit your time wearing one um, and you can also do a lot of breath work to really combat it so breath work is really in the simple of terms it's just training your body to breathe optimally so most of us when we're under stress anxiety fear Specifically like wearing a mask too. I feel when I wear a mask that it I, I, I'm not getting deep slow long breaths. They're more shallow and rapid. So To really combat that you want to have a specific time in your day designated for breath work because it, if you do that for a really long time your body's gonna start to condition itself and think that this is the way that this is the way that your body is and this is how you breathe you know and and it really brings me back to when I was working at these jobs that I didn't like and um, bringing the work home with me and the reason I was bringing the work home with me was because my body didn't know that I ended my shift because my breathing was still so tight and tense and you know the mind and body connection there so even if your your mind knows it's all right, I'm home now, I can relax. If you were in a state of anxiety for eight hours, five days a week, like your body is really conditioning to that. So the same thing goes with mask wearing. So try to limit your time if you can um, to mask wearing. It, it is um, something that is controversial, I guess, but I do wanna speak out on it because I really do feel that and again, I'm not telling you to wear one or not wear one. I'm telling you to just really focus in on your breathing because I am noticing with myself and a lot of people that I speak to that um, it does cause a lot of anxiety, wearing one, lightheadedness, shortness of breath. And to be honest with you, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty obvious that you're not going to get the same quality as a breath as you would wearing a mask. Um, there's a lot of studies going on. You can read about it, do all your research on it. Um, try to limit yourself. That's what I'm saying to do. Um, obviously, if you're around people, that's a different story. Um, you want to respect people, but at the same time, you want to also respect yourself. So in the end of the day, it is your decision. Um, and in regards to breath work, the way that I incorporate breath work into my life is I really love to just incorporate it with something I do consistently already. So what I do is I actually have a soak. So I have my bath salts and I soak and I really indulge and I enjoy the aromatherapy and the Himalayan sea salt and Epsom salt. And the beauty of that 
bath salt gem waters which i'll link in this in the description is that it has a lot of magnesium and magnesium is known to reduce stress so it really goes hand in hand with breath work because you really want to calm and quiet your mind and just release all this stress and just take really long deep slow breaths through the nose and out the mouth with per pursed lips so you want to be doing something like this so you want to have that that um pursed lips when you when you exhale and um, you want to be breathing from your diaphragm so diaphragm um, is connect the diaphragm is connected to your psoas muscles and what's interesting is I was actually having a lot of hard time with my psoas muscle I remember specifically when I was working at this job I didn't like I was under so much stress that I was having so much tension in my body my whole my whole body was just like tense and I just wasn't breathing right and I would get like hot and and like red and um, lightheaded and have headaches because think about it when you're upset at someone had your body really tenses up so um, when you're when you're breathing optimally it's really the opposite of that so when I had those problems with my psoas muscle, it actually had a lot to do with the diaphragm and my breathing because it's really all connected. But the purpose of this video isn't to kind of influence you and tell you what to do or say one thing is wrong and one thing is right. The reason of this video is to really just educate, have the person who's viewing this just know for themselves, do your own research and really evaluate yourself and understand that you don't have to just follow everyone else's opinion. You can have an individual outlook and, and really just notice how you're feeling. Really, that's, that's really the point. Because for me, breath work has changed my life so much because the way that you breathe affects the way that you feel. The way that you feel affects the way that you breathe. It's like, it's amazing guys. So if, you're, if your mind is right, and like you're happy but like your body is somewhere else because it's been so conditioned you know you're gonna struggle so you really want to have your body and your mind be aligned thanks for watching